Today we are away from the drum set, and what better place to be than the bathroom? The true drum throne. My face is gone. Hey guys, this is Spiky Drummer, and I am excited to bring you another lesson today. And uh, I just wanted to start off this whole thing by saying that I have had a whole lot of emails asking about this lesson, and so here it is, the requested lesson. How to practice for drums away from the drum set. Alright guys, so this lesson has been a really long time coming and I know you guys have had a lot of emails uh, requesting for uh, a video that deals with, uh, you know, somebody who hasn't got a drum set or, or somebody who wants to buy a drum set right now and doesn't have the money uh, or even somebody who's away from their drum set and wants to know how they can practice or uh, build up skill uh, while they're away from their drum set. I'm actually currently dealing with a circumstance like that right now. I mean, I don't have the Tigger suit, I don't have anything right now. So I felt like this would be the absolute best time to make a, a lesson video on this kind of subject because I am sadly away from my set for the next week or so and uh, I am, uh, I'm really missing it a lot, so I've been uh, catching myself at work practicing and and uh, realizing, hey, I really need to post a video about this. So, I'm going to go over with you guys a couple techniques uh, of practicing away from the drum set without drumsticks, without drum heads, without snares, basses, practice pads, anything at all. So, here we go. Alright, so basically the setup you're going to want to have uh, generally when you're practicing your drums without drums, you're going to want to be sitting uh, with your legs uh, at a 90 degree angle. Now even though I always play heels up, I actually practice uh, most of the drum beats that I, that I practice away from my drum set with the heels down, just because it's hard to find a chair that uh, sits you high enough that your ankles can actually be comfortably off the ground. Alright, so to the actual drum beat that we're going to be working on today. So if you're wanting to do your homework on this and uh, go back and watch the drum lesson video with this actually on a drum set. Uh, the lesson is uh, in my videos called uh, Quick Death Metal Rolls. Uh, but the way that I set up is I kind of keep my right hand and my left hand on the sides of my knees, the outer sides of the knees. And that just gets, I don't know, I guess for me that's a really comfortable surface to hit, but I mean, I don't care where you hit. Like I said, we're dealing with uh, uh, out any kind of drum instruments whatsoever, so wherever you want to smack your hands is fine as long as it signifies something. You just pretend in your mind that this is, you know, your snare or your your hi-hat or whatever. In my case, I'm pretending that this is the snare. Uh, this Both knees are my snare and the feet are the bass. In this particular drum roll, it's really kind of fun to just sit around and do. It's just simply this. Right, left, right, left, bass, bass. And uh, you just do that over and over again. Right, left, right, left, bass, bass. Right, left, right, left, bass, bass. And then you make it faster. And also, if you want to add something extra in there for good measure, I like to add uh, this triplet beat that would just kind of explode right out of the uh, bass pattern. And it's just a right, left, right, left triplet pattern. I'll show you what that's going to sound like. Okay, so this next drum beat is actually for uh, those drummers who are interested in uh, a whole lot of double bass speed work. Um, if you guys have a double bass pedal and you're away from it right now, uh, which happens every single day to you because you all have jobs and you sit in a car or whatever, but if you're away from your drum set or you don't have a double bass pedal, this is a perfect way to build double bass speed and endurance just by being away from the drum set and sitting and being bored or whatever. Alright, so for practicing with the heels up techniques that I've shown on my videos, preparing yourself for things like the swivel technique and uh, uh, the slide technique, the best way to get warmed up for right lift right lift patterns is to raise your ankles up like this and then you're just going to alternate back and forth like this. And one thing you'll notice is that I did not lift the toes of my feet off of the ground. Basically what you're preparing yourself for is extreme speeds with the ankles up. And it's going to build these muscles back here that uh, will just kind of start to get into the, the motion of doing this. Alright, but the actual technique or the, the drum rhythm that you can do that's a lot of fun that will build your speed and your endurance is to keep your feet flat on the floor and do a right lift right lift pattern in short bursts of four like this. And this was slowed down. Right lift, right left, right lift, right left. And then if you speed it up. And doing this over and over again will help to build your speed and endurance uh, in the muscles up here. 
And now another thing that you can do is if you're able to sit where your ankles are up high like this, and what I do is basically just hang my legs above the ground like this and do the same thing over and over again uh, like I just did with the ankles up like this. <laughs> 